the mic. It's, 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 it's Tro- 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 Trojans Live on your home for Trojans football. AM 790 KABC. Monster Energy, the official energy drink of USC. Unleash the beast and fight on Trojans and fly on with ONT. Ontario International Airport is a proud sponsor of our USC Trojans. Visit SoCalSoEasy.com to book your journey through ONT today. Jordan Moore, Sean Cody, Max Brown, and our USC football insider, Keely Yor, joins us now. And uh, we head into a bye week, uh, Keely, off a pretty impressive performance. I mean, yeah. really, that, that first half, I mean... There, Dennis Simmons is like, oh, it was that one hold. And I'm sure if Lincoln Riley was here, he would have found a few things. But that was about as good a half of football as you could play. It's bittersweet that there's a bye because you build up so much momentum and you play so well. You want to see that product this Saturday. But, you know, I I actually was talking to Lincoln Riley in between things during the week. And I asked him, like, is it really is it weird to have a week four bye? And he said that it feels like a midweek bye to him based on uh, the way that the week zero prep pushed everything up. So for him, I think it's a good timing, but it does feel a little weird to to have such a great game and then be like, okay, it's bye week time. It's also weird, too. I mean, we're playing the two worst teams in the conference to open up the season, which I think from a just overall f- vibe and feel, like Marshawn mentioned, like, oh, it'd be nice to play the whole game. Yeah, like, no, like, what a luxury it is to say that. But you can yeah. see a world where it's similar versus Arizona State. But I also think, I mean, you I mean, taking a step back of it's so easy, especially in our role, to like nitpick of like where you could get better and all that. But walking away after these first three games, this team's just flat out good. And I think that's one thing where it's so easy to be like, oh, defense has got to elevate all that. But a special roster and i think uh our rating uh reflects that right now yeah i just think we kind of you know, looking at the season before we even started this thing we thought oh it's going to be a build to the to the finish line i think you know and it's kind of been that already I, I i didn't expect much from stanford i don't think a lot of people did but that's what you're supposed to do to a down stanford team or a down team you come out there and it looked like they had a little bit looked like they had a little something different in their eye when they came out to that one they they were ready to go they 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 probably heard people chirping about defense or offensively what can we do and then you know you got to turn it up to that next level pack 12 and coach talked about it so i, d- I definitely saw a different level from the team that's something you want to see when when your coach asks when he hits the accelerator you want the players to respond like that defense is the lowest points per possession in the conference so far and the other thing about the build you get the bye week, some of these games where they're not playing full four quarters, they should be really healthy now. Yep. You know, knock on wood, unless you just get a sort of bad luck injury. They're not going through these tough physical games until about midseason. You know, Mason Cobb feels close. I don't. I know, I know we don't know anything, but he doesn't look like a guy that's like we're not going to see for two months. Tyrone Teleni. That's coming another, from Jordan Moore, everybody. Jordan Moore saying Mason I, Cobb. I don't is know. I'm just go. saying. I look at him, and I'm just not going. You know, there's no visible cast or something like that. I mean, that. but like a hamstring. I, I don't know what it's his true. injury is. I don't to know. Be fair. You're right, but even then, like it, it, it doesn't look far. Gentry came back a little bit. Tyrone Teleni, and you know. The, they could all, they could get better, I guess is yes. what I'm saying. Yes. And and they have a little bit of runway to do so. Yes, for sure. And I just think it's interesting that not only are you healthy, but you're getting so many guys in the two deep game experience. And I feel like that's kind of your Lincoln Riley's been showing his hand because he said, and I've said it before to go deep into this season, you need game experience from top to bottom on this roster. And all they've done so far is gotten game experience. And he talked about how good this team is. We haven't even seen them like scheme a game for just featuring Zachariah Branch. The yeah. fact that three consecutive games, 12 Trojans have at least one catch, like they're not even pouring it on yet. And here we are talking about the most points scored against Stanford. So it's just fascinating to see when it quote unquote really counts. I know all of them do, but when it really counts, what will we actually see from this team? It's, it sounds funny to me, but it's like you, you're, you're, you're built to this. Fans are upset a little bit. You hear, you listen to fans and they're like, oh, why did fans they? Fans were upset after last week's I, game? I feel like I heard fans like, why are they, you know, in the second half, they didn't do this. Or oh, that, and yeah. I'm just like, what? you know, I think Lincoln Riley has a vision of this playing this thing out, right? And, and to do that, you need to build, you, you have a lot of tools in your tool chest because he's getting guys ready at the second and threes and, yeah. and getting these guys ready for the end of the season and those are valuable reps these guys are getting they might not look like it when you're winning by 50 points but those are valuable reps for later in the season when somebody gets hurt hey I, this guy I, he's, I can trust him because he's been in there and, he, and he's took some level so I think Lincoln's building to that when you hear fans like oh what happened in the second half it's like come on guys man we, <laughs> this, we're playing the long game here Saturday to me felt like the most 
you know, prime Pete Carroll era game in the Coliseum that that I can I can remember since since Pete left. And and I say that because the sideline was just a buzz. It was like you turn around, it's like, is that Tyreek Hill? Oh, no, DeMar DeRozan's here. Oh, there's Lendale. I mean, it was like, you know, there were hip-hop stars. There were basketball stars. Michael there Strahan? Were actors and actresses. Yeah. Michael Strahan popping in a Caleb Williams jersey. <laughs> like, you had that whole vibe. The place was packed, and then the team responded. You know what I yeah. mean? It, it, get all that, and it wasn't like, oh, they sort of went through it and played down to their competition. No. I mean, they were on pace to score 98 points. I mean, oh that first half was crazy. And you could take it for granted. And you could say, oh, Stanford is is not good. But there's a lot of teams that can't score 49 points against no defense. I mean, it, it was pretty impressive. And I'm going to get ahead of myself here, but you mentioned that sideline energy. I mean, you have the bye week this week. Then you go on, on the road to Arizona State, which you should take care of business there. And then you're looking at the Colorado oh matchup, God. which – no school has more buzz right now than Colorado. You pair that energy that you're talking about, that could be really fun. And that, to me, is the biggest, I think, most, or I guess the most immediate test is when this team does get punched on in the mouth, how do they respond? Right now, it's great when you're up and you know that, hey, if we don't score on this drive, you're still going to be good. Obviously, that wasn't a, wasn't, a, wasn't a thing last week. But I think from a psychological standpoint, you're sitting pretty right now. You're sitting comfortable right now. You will get punched in the mouth at some point. I think that's Lincoln's biggest challenge is to keep guys gritty and on track these next three weeks or so. I think that what Sean alluded to, there was just a different level of intensity this game, and it felt like it started with the head coach. And the fact that they responded to that is a good sign. But also just pointing, and I know it's a different roster, but pointing to the Oregon State game last last year, that was when they were really not expecting a crowd, nor... Oregon State to do what they did and I feel like this team under Lincoln Riley can respond well to unexpected things because it goes to their training where with the USC teams in the past recently we haven't really seen that so if and if anything I'm, I'm comfortable at this point for the eventual mouth punching that might come. Yeah, I just think that yeah, it, we can look back at last year in Oregon State. It just but every I think every team needs that moment, right? And this team yeah. hasn't had that moment, so they'll they'll have their opportunity where it's in the fourth quarter, it's tight, and then and you got to fight somewhere, and they're going to get that shot, and that's when you see, all right, what's this team's identity? What do they lean on? Who's our guys? And and they'll find that out, you know, and they and you hope they respond like like they want to, but they're they'll they'll, they'll be that moment. I do think his style of play, it it works very well f- to avoid trap games. Like, because they're just sort of guaranteed to put a number up, yep. they hammer bad teams in a way that, you know, let's just be honest, the, the previous eras that, we were, that we've been sitting in here talking about very much up and down to the competition, a lot of ugly wins. You know, if, if, you, don't, if you can't hang with USC, it's over like that. Yep. And you could see it from Stanford. It was just like, nope, they just cannot hang. And we talked about some people in the pregame show. I don't, did David Bailey even play? Like, I didn't even, yep. you know, the t- tight end. We did a whole segment on the tight end. It was fine. You know, a couple of sweeps, you yep. know. I mean, it's just, they just <laughs> could not hang in a track meet. It was just like watching somebody being like, oh, oh is there other people running? They're yards behind me. Did you see David Bailey on the fir- on the first touchdown, the Caleb touchdown? He looks like a ref spectating. He was kind of just like Caleb's going to do what he's going to do. It was wild to see, but yeah, it's it's. I'm almost kind of too used to USC scoring ability. I was kind of like, oh, 56 points. How right. is that the and most? That's what I'm the- saying. You cannot take it for granted. Yeah, it's not yeah. easy to do. I know we got a break, but is there anything that would like so? If this offense does get stopped, what do you think it is? Is, is it someone getting after our offensive line? Is it someone? Uh, that that to me is really the only only thing that'll stop stop this uh, stop this unit. Yeah, like anything, I guess it, you know, the best way to do it is to attack the heart of it. You're going to have to get pressure, but then even then, you you put Caleb in 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 improv mode and Houdini. watch out. Yeah, yeah. And we have even three man fronts. We we but then we start attacking with the run game. So it's it, I mean we feel like we have a lot of answers right now. And not, not a lot answers. of questions. But there are big games coming. I mean, if you if. You, if you haven't got your tickets yet, you better get them now. I think every game the rest oh, yeah. of the way, honestly, could be sold out. Those last three are going to be wild. Most of the conference is ranked. I mean, it is really a heck of a season ahead. So uh, buckle up. There are some big games coming, and make sure you're in the Coliseum for those. Trojans Live is uh, sponsored by Pachanga Resort Casino, proud partner of USC football. That will lead us to our over-under, which is next on Trojans Live. Welcome back to Trojans Live for one final segment. Your over-under is presented by Pachanga Resort Casino, proud partner of USC Athletics. Jordan Moore, Sean Cody, Max Brown, and Keely Yor. Okay, I got to read. You guys did not like it last week that it wasn't a real over-under. So is, it, I got is there a, a scoreboard over-under. for these over-unders? Yeah, Drew DeHart, the executive producer of Trojans Live, and uh, is, keeping, okay. is keeping a running log. Oh, let's go Shades. Are, who's winning? <laughs> I just saw that. It's bye week, baby. We're in the bye week. <laughs> 
Uh, I was just thinking because uh, sacks, you know, sacks popped up. I, I started keeping track of that because that was last week's one. But here's this week's one, Sean. Okay. Over under a half a loss oh my God. for the Pac-12 regular season champion this season. So here's I'll the, start that. You said oh, you're going to over. I already know. I, I'm going you over. It's going to be a two loss. Year. Yeah, I'm hammering the over on that. So, so you think the 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 quote unquote one seed, obviously the one and two seeds playing the, in the title, the one seed will have two losses. I think, I think that's more likely than an undefeated champ. I think the champ will be a one loss team. So for those, that I'll take the over, which still count. Yeah, yes. one yeah, loss. I would have said I would have set the line at one. Uh, you well, like, then you can't pick one. <laughs> you one, one and a half. One and a half. Then it's a push. I mean, most likely somebody's going to go through with one loss. Yeah. But no one has ever gone undefeated since the Pac-12 expanded from ten to twelve. Yeah. In league play. So, so that's then, the that's the camp I'm in. That'll continue, and yeah. I think it'll be a one one loss champ. So and, over. And and you're in that camp there too, Mister. Yeah. Now you want to change the lines? Max Max <laughs> Brown. Expert. Max Max Brown knows his Pac-12. I might stick with there Max on this Let's one. Hang he's, a out. Pac, he's a Pac-12 guru, man. Let me, let me stick with Max on this one. I'm gonna ride with Max. Sean's really reached enlightenment. He not only understood the question, but criticized you on your question. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Change the line. Maybe it's the sunglasses. <laughs> Maybe. It really just it's like out. The po- it's like the poker thing. You know, they all my, wear sunglasses. I see the margarita here. Now I'm ready for bye week. <laughs> uh, the over, by the way, Jordan, yes. Everyone's going over. Yes. You, what you? It's just too good. I, I would go over, too. Okay. I, I just think it's probably too good to, to run the table. A lot of good teams, man. I will say USC looks good. Good. Yeah. Like, like, the I was just, just the watching on Saturday going, I think they're really good. Yeah. Which makes you wonder if the schedule was different for USC at yeah. all, then you're going like 12 and 0. I just, the thing with the gauntlet that they have after this bye week, you, you have to think of the variables that they can't control, yeah. injuries, et cetera. I think they go 12 and 0 on last year's schedule. Yes. Oh, yeah. 100%. Much easier schedule. Yeah. So, so you're saying the Del- I mean Oregon State's pretty good. So right. like the Delta between Oregon State teams. Washington State is not that much different than Oregon Wa- don't get Oregon Washington. Don't I'm get me wrong, Oregon Washington are legit, but both those teams are still ranked. I'm All four of those last teams year's are teams though. So like last oh. year's version of Oregon State and Washington State. I agree with you. Everyone's up. So yeah, I agree. Yeah. I, the the thought of like, oh, they have to play Oregon and Washington instead of Oregon State and Washington State turned out not to be that huge of a difference. It might be a little bit of a difference. We'll totally. see when it comes down to it, but uh, not that not that huge. Hey, we're back next week. We're going 17 straight weeks, Trojans Live, Woo-hoo. so stick with us right here on YouTube. Thanks to everyone in the crew. I mentioned Drew DeHart already. <laughs> Sean's week, Sean. on his bye week. We're out of here. Thank you, Rick. Go home. Everyone have a great night. We'll uh, see you next Monday. Fight on.